welcome to Joyce Fan Channel. We are going to do a series of hips and leg stretches today. You will need a cushion or two, um, a blanket or a block, and a strap or a tower if you don't have a strap. Let's get started. Let's come into cross leg position. If it feels difficult to straighten your back, place a block or a blanket under your hips to elevate your hips. Now bring the sole of the feet together. Bring your heels in as much as you can and open the feet like reading a book. Begin to sink your thighs and knees down. On your next inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, incline your body 45 degree. And here you can use your elbows to press your thighs down. You can stay here or if you want to go deeper. Next inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lower down your torso even more. We'll be staying here for a little while. You may rest on your cushion for support. Or if you want, you can crawl your arms out for a deeper stretch. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Take deep breath in and out. Each inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, melt your chest down more. Stay here for two more breaths. Next inhale, gradually bring your torso up. Exhale, release. Straighten out your legs, tap your knees for five, four, three, two, one. Now bend your right knee to about 90 degree angle. Rest your shin down. Notice that your shin should be parallel to the top of your mat. Flex your right foot. Make sure your foot is perpendicular to your shin. Now stack your left shin on top of your right. Make sure your left ankle is on top of your right knee and left knee on top of your right ankle. If there's any restriction in lowering down your left knee, place a cushion underneath to support your knee. You can simply stay here or if you want to go deeper, walk your hands forward and begin to fall over your legs. Keep both sit bones on the ground and use the weight of your body to slowly go deeper in the pose. But remember, don't force your body. It will come when you're ready. And begin to slow down your breath even more. Take a longer inhale and an even longer exhale. Stay here for two more breaths. On your next inhale, gradually come back up. Exhale, release. Straighten your legs and shake your legs. When you're ready, let's work on the other side. Now bend your left knee to about a 90 degree angle and rest your shin down. Check that your shin is parallel to the top of your mat. Flex your left foot, make sure your foot is perpendicular to your shin. 
Now stack your right shin on top of your left Right ankle on top of your left knee Right knee on top of your left ankle You can place a cushion underneath to support your knee Simply stay here Or if you want to go deeper Walk your hands forward Next exhale, fall over your legs If you want, you can also rest your torso on top of a cushion for more support Make sure both of your sit bones remain on the floor And let gravity do the work and take your torso down This is a really great hip opening pose Our hips tend to get tighter when we sit for long hours every day and sometimes we don't actually realize how long we've sat down for each day And this is one of the way you can release the tension around your hips Stay here for two more breaths On your next inhale, gradually come back up Exhale, release Straighten your legs and shake it out Now bend your left knee and bring your left foot in towards your groin Flex your right foot, curl the toes towards you Place your fingertips onto the mat On your next inhale, lengthen your spine Exhale, fall forward You can catch onto your shin, your ankle, or all the way to your foot You can also use a strap or a towel to hook onto the balls of your right foot Choose whichever variation that feels comfortable for you today Check that both of your hips are in the same line Focus on lengthening the spine and fall from your hips Although the pose is named as head to knee We don't actually have to bring our head to our knee The key is to maintain a flat back and keep lengthening forward Begin to bring your torso to the right leg by rotating your left chest down Stay here for two more breaths On your next inhale, gradually come back up Exhale, release Straighten your legs and shake them out Let's repeat on the other side Bend your right knee and bring your right foot in towards your groin Flex your left foot, curl the toes towards you Place your fingertips on the mat On your next inhale, lengthen your spine Exhale, fall forward Either catch onto your shin, your ankle, all the way to your foot Or use a strap or towel to hook onto the balls of your left foot Choose whichever variation you did on the other side Square your hip by bringing your left hip back, right hip forward Start bringing your right chest down and stretch your sit bones back Extend your torso forward Each inhale, extend your spine long each exhale, deepen your stretch. And 
allow your body to soften into the pose with your breath. Two more breath here. On your next inhale, gradually come back up. Exhale, release. Straighten your legs and shake them out. Coming to our final pose, forward four. Extend your legs out in front of you. Flex your toes back towards you. And press your heels down. Now bend your knees. Bring your heels closer to your hips. Place your fingertips onto the mat. On your next inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold your torso over your legs. Use your free fingers to hook onto your big toes. Keep mounting your chest to your thighs. Breathe deeply here. If you have space, begin to walk your hips back. Remember to keep your torso on your thighs. Stay here for a few breaths. And see if you want to walk your hips back again. Keep your shoulders back and relax away from your ears. Each inhale, find more length in your spine. With each exhale, sink deeply into your fold. Stay here for two more breaths. Next inhale, gradually come back up. Exhale, release. To counter stretch, bend your knees. Keep your feet hip width distant and place your palms behind your hips, fingers pointing towards your hip. On your next inhale, lift your hips up. If you want, you can drop your head back. Stay here for three more breaths. Exhale, lower down and release. Thank you for practicing with me today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell button, and follow me on Instagram. Share in the comment box below and let me know what you want to practice next time. See you!